over 300 broadcasts and being on Periscope for 45 days, I have come up with a list of the 100 top tips on how to get better on Periscope and how to pop, make your presentations look good, professional, and easygoing. If you want a copy of this list, just send me an email at abcvision at hotmail.com. The only thing I ask, if you use any of it, just credit me. If you have any tips you want me to add in future lists, just send me the tip and I'll include it and I'll give you a shout out. First tip I want to say is, the first thing is your name. Your name's very important. Like anybody sees it, like any uh, promoter, anybody that any advertiser knows, you want to uh, kiss, keep it simple, stupid, something that's recognizable. My name is ABC Vision. It stands for A, your attitude, the way that you see your world, B, your beliefs, your core values, C, your commitment, you stay the course, and V, your vision. You have to know where you're going. So it's your A, B, C's. So follow me all here on Periscope. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm also a meerkat. So it's a nice catchy name. A lot of people put these different number names, and when scrolling or when someone's trying to connect with you, they can't really read it and recognize it. So first thing is to have a catchy name. The next little tip I have is I keep a little notebook. I keep a little notebook and I write all little good ideas that I, either comes to my mind or I see uh, from other broadcasts or as I'm thinking a lot I have an aha moment that I can do a future broadcast on. This notebook what it does it allows me to have a, a quick little reference point where I can go back and I don't just simply freeze up when I'm going to do a broadcast. So that's the second tip is have a notebook. First one is to have a nice clear name. Second one is to have a notebook. Another thing too is when you do your broadcast have a little outline so you know what you're saying you know where you're going Going, so you know what you're going to tell folks. So when you have this outline, you're all, all of a sudden focused and you don't freeze up. Because sometimes when you start doing these different periscopes, you kind of feel a little awkward. You're kind of staring at a camera. No one's staring at you. And you kind of feel awkward. You're talking to spaces. Like, who am I talking? Who's listening to me? But believe it or not, lots of people are listening. With over a million users on Periscope, you never know who's watching. And people on the web can interact with you, so you necessarily don't necessarily know if they're watching you or not. But they are. They're watching you. So just make it nice and personal. Instead of thinking that you're talking to 100 people, you're talking to one-on-one. -on -one. The next little tip, which I think is important, is make sure when you're recording to be aware of the sound and the lighting. Uh, many times we're in different places we pull out our phone and we start broadcasting and we're outside there's some wind or you're inside there's some radio in the background and people can't hear you so I would recommend to you is to be aware of the sound and the uh, light contact to make sure they can see you because they got to see you and they got to hear you to grab their attention because people have so many things that they can look at why do they why are they drawn to you and that's the last tip is in your description of your periscope uh, keep it simple stupid uh, make it interesting, make it topical, make it so that people can are able to find you. If you go on Periscope and search, sometimes the search uh, function is not very easy to find who is broadcasting what. But if you go to the Twitter site, if you go to Twitter and you go to their search page, just hashtag Periscope and then the topic you want to look at. And all of a sudden you have a whole bunch of people that are Periscoping on things that might interest you. What I like to do is in my Periscope app, sometimes in the global uh, people that are Periscoping, you, you only get a limited amount. But I'll go to Periscope, put the hashtag Periscope, and all of a sudden, all these Periscopes from around the world are popping, popping, popping. And that way I can capture and see who else is on, what interesting things I'm missing, and remember, see the world through other people's eyes. So those are some of the top hits. If you want to see and get a copy of my 100 top best list, it's a PDF file. Just send me an email at abcvision at hotmail. I just want to share these ideas to the world. I want to help the learning curve. As Malcolm Gladwell talked about, that you know you have to have an investment of 10,000 hours before you become a genius in anything. And what knowledge and education does, it kind of helps you break that curve. So all of a sudden, you can have the best ideas, the best tips that will help you, help your business, help your ideas, help your perspective. Because remember, as Jim Carroll says, we need to think big, we need to start small, and we need to scale fast. So all of a sudden, you have this great big idea that you might solve a problem, might be a business, might make a, a difference in the whole world, change the paradigm. And also you can start small, start your own life, applying it in your life, and then it'll scale fast because you get on Periscope, all of a sudden the world is watching you. And you never know, you're only one broadcast, you're only one story, you're only one message away from greatness, from making a difference. Uh, Warhol talked about the 15 minutes of fame, and now all of a sudden we have a certain a great way a great highway in order to get out there get our name out get a personality out and remember you're special you're unique out of all the seven billion people on the planet there's only one of you so follow me on ABC vision and remember ABC vision stands for a 
your attitude. You can have a good day. You can have a bad day. B, your beliefs. Why is it I do the things I do? And C, your commitment. You get to stay the course. You have to have goals. You have to have a focus. You have to have a perspective. You have to move director. And then you have to have a vision. Where am I going? Why am I doing this? And those are the keys. So follow me on ABC Vision. And thanks for watching. And send me that email. And I'll be glad to send you that list. And keep periscoping.